Welcome friends. Let's talk about beauty and fashion trends that we are loving going into 2024. So naturally I've been creeping all over the internet, doing a good scroll on TikTok and Instagram, and I have been so inspired by seeing so many people's ins and outs for the new year. And I think it's a really fun twist on like new year's goals and new year intentions. And a lot of people have been putting their little twist on the beauty and fashion side of it. And I love seeing what people are into, what people are loving, what trends are kind of floating around. And as an unofficial player in the fashion and beauty game, I thought it'd be fun to show you the trends that I am loving for 2024, my little ins. I'm gonna skip the outs because everyone has their own opinion and everyone's style is different. So here are my 2024 ins. As of now, as of this date in January, 2024, the beauty and fashion things that I am loving. Number one, the color red. Now I am a longtime lover of red. Red is a classic, beautiful pop of color to use in whatever kind of dressing that you're doing, whether it be a pop of color in your clothing or a pop of color in your makeup. I love a good, bold red lip, but I really love that red is just having a huge resurgence right now. There are just red crew necks, red sweaters, red cardigans, red pants, red socks. We are seeing so much red and I am definitely gonna be embracing more red going into the new year. One of my favorite accessories that I I love to use and wear is my beautiful Bottega Veneta red pouch bag. And you guys have seen this a lot. If you have followed me on the gram and followed me on YouTube, I think no matter what kind of plain outfit I'm wearing, if I throw this bag on with it, my little unexpected pop of color, it just makes me feel extra fabulous and extra punchy and bold, if you will. And I'd love to do this paired with a red lip is something I consistently do, but I'd love to add more red in my wardrobe because I really don't have any red. This is kind of my, my token red piece. There's so much good. Mm. Pops of red that we are seeing everywhere and I am thrilled that it is making its way into the new year fashion. Trend number two is animal print. And I, I personally believe that animal print never goes away. You always see some kind of leopard, zebra, cheetah, though all these prints are always laying around. Tis within nature and it definitely comes back in waves. And I just, I am itching to get me some animal print accessories, whether it be the gorgeous Kate leather boots that my legs don't fit into or these beautiful vintage animal print bags. I just personally believe that animal print can be done in such a tasteful way. And it's something that I don't play with in my wardrobe and I would really love to because you can still live in the neutral tones. You can go with everything in your wardrobe if you live on the neutral side of life, but it just adds that extra texture that can give a little zhuzh and an oomph to an outfit. And whether that be in a jacket or a pair of pleather pants or your accessories through boots or bags, it's definitely something that I'm looking into playing more with and adding more of in my wardrobe. For number three, I wrote out maxi skirts because I personally believe that maxi skirts are just, they've been here in a big way and they are here to stay. And in my dressing, in my closet personally, it has become a staple all year round, summer, spring, fall, winter, no matter what, I am obsessed with the maxi skirts. And this is coming from a girl who used to exclusively wear pants and I never really dabbled in the world of skirts and dresses, it just wasn't my thing. I have become a full on believer and wear of maxi skirts all across the board, whether it be a denim maxi skirt, cargo, silk, doesn't matter what the fabric is, doesn't matter what the material is, I want all of them in my wardrobe. And I'm really especially loving a sheer tulle skirt. I think it's been so fun to see people layering up the different textures and seeing a lot of like beautiful pleated skirts, sheer skirts, long flowy frilly skirts. I just think that this abundance of feminine energy is making its way into dressing and not just exclusively special occasion. Like this is very much for everyday dressing. It's become such a staple in my closet. The maxi skirts are here to stay. And if it wasn't obvious enough, I just felt like I had to state it because the maxi skirts are here to stay. Number four is suede. And this is something that I never thought that I'd be saying in my life. <laughs> because I have been extremely against suede over the last few years because it's something that gets destroyed very easily and very swiftly. And I never really believed in spending money on suede objects for that reason alone. But the flattered suede pouch bag that was brought into my life has really changed the game for me. And I suddenly just have this insatiable desire to fill my life with suede and I've been seeing it everywhere. Again, it's one of those materials that has never actually gone away, but it's just when you focus on something, you just suddenly see it everywhere, right? So the flattered suede bag kind of changed my life. This bag has gotten so, so much use. I wear it with absolutely everything. And I've just gone into this deep tunnel of suede life. I want all the suede bags. I want all the suede accessories. I want all the suede boots. Now, if we go back a few years, many, many moons ago, we were all obsessed with those like really skinny, tight, over the knee Stuart Weitzman suede boots. The trend went, 
Ooh, goodbye. <laughs> and it did not have a lasting impression in my wardrobe. However, I am loving seeing all the beautiful new structural shapes of boots that are coming out. We're seeing a lot of really gorgeous, like slouchy suede boots, some over the knees, some high knee, really cool, funky, pointy toes. Like I'm just, I need to get a pair of suede boots that match this kind of shade for my pouch bag because I just love it so much. And I think it's gorgeous. It's adding texture into that very neutral, monochrome, light, creamy life. Ugh, I just think they're so good. Trend number five is making a resurgence in my life from my childhood. I talked about this recently, but sheer tights. <laughs> tights in general, really, it can be patterned and it can be a little bit more thick, but really the, the sheer black tight has just made its wave in the fashion and the online world. I love all the looks. There are so many gorgeous, very classy, looks that it just adds a little element of texture. It adds that finishing chic touch to an outfit and I think it's great and I played a lot with it over the holiday as I was doing my more dressed up dressing and it reminded me of when I used to go to church and I'd have to wear my tights every day and it was that weird childhood memory making a comeback being like, do I like this? I don't know, am I being forced into liking this? But no, I, I'm really here for the sheer tights and I look forward to continuing to layer out my outfits with them and I had asked you guys in the month of December, what your thoughts were on the the sheer tights world and the two most popular brands that came up and you guys were pretty even stevens when it came to which one you prefer the sheer tex and the wolford tights i bought both of them i absolutely intend on doing a little comparison wear test of each but i look forward to adding these into my normal dressing lineup making these a staple and a fun way to layer up and add fun little elements to my outfits. Trend number six, I'm calling feminine hairstyles because over the month of December, I played with bows so much. And again, this is not new. This is new for me. That's why this is my take on these kind of trends and things that I'm seeing because I can be very late to many things that are made popular online. Uh, but hair bows and hair ribbons and just adding a little bit more of a feminine touch to the hairstyles and being a little bit more adventurous with the hairstyles is kind of a goal of mine in 2024 in general, but I had so much fun dressing up, adding bows. I never felt more adorable than when I was getting ready for a little holiday makeup look and putting a giant bow in my hair. And I was like, why don't I do this? Why don't I have a little bit more fun? I really need to be less rigid in my style and my makeup and my fashion life and just have a little bit more fun with it. I need to let loose a little bit, say, yeah, to some fun and playfulness in my getting dressed life. And I love the bows. I really do. I think they can be so cute. You can be wearing something so plain. You can be wearing a long black dress, add a little bow and you just instantly feel so cute. <laughs> I say this as I have my frizzy air dried hair and I've done absolutely nothing, but I promise you that I intend to play a lot more with feminine fun hairstyles in 2024. And I'm here for the bows. I'm here for the ribbons, all the sparkle, all of it. Number seven is a personal goal of mine when it comes to my makeup world. And that is to bring back bold and bright lips. I don't know what, no, I do know what happened actually. That is a lie. Back in the day, I used to have my short little bleached blonde Bob. If I had to pinpoint a specific time, that's what I think of. I think of the time where I would just wear any lip color. I would wear really big, fun, dangly earrings. And I just had a lot more playful fun in that time of my life. And since my hair has been more of its natural color and I've been embracing this very clean girl aesthetic, kind of doing less is more, very natural, whatever. I have just put my bright, bold lipsticks to die, really. I, I do pull out a red occasionally, but I actually went into my makeup collection and I pulled out a ton. Like, this is a whole bag and this is not even half of the color. All these bright fun pinks and oranges and purples, so many bright fun colors that just get no love in my makeup collection. And I really wanna have more fun with that, especially because I do like to do such a natural makeup on the rest of the face and on my eyes. Adding a bright, bold color can be so fun and it can completely change your overall look. And I wanna bring bright, bold lips back. So that is my goal for 2024. We are going back with the bold. Look, look, at, look at this art, look at this Louboutin lipstick. Do I put this on right now? This could be risque, I don't know how this is. Questionable scent. Look at how easy that was to apply. Do I look more bright and alive? Do I look more fabulous? Look, I'm wearing a very plain gray and white ensemble and now I have a bright lipstick and I feel like I instantly look more fun. <laughs> we are bringing bright colors back in 2024. Trend number eight is something that I never thought that I would be saying in my lifetime and that is mixing jewelry, mixing together the worlds of silver and gold. Oh my, okay, there is a hard line in my life where 
all my life, up until a certain age, up until a certain point, I exclusively wore silver jewelry. And then I discovered the world of fake tan. All the years before 2017, my, my skin had never seen the sun. And then after that, I was like, wow. And I dove head first into the world of sunshine and also gold jewelry. And I've never looked back since. And this year, I've brought the silver back in, in quite a big way, actually. And I really love to see it on other people. It's not like I've ever disliked silver jewelry. It's just that I, I've gone through this multi-year long phase where I only wore gold jewelry and now I've been playing a little bit more. I got some, you know, big girl watches with some gold and silver and playing with the chunky silver jewelry and silver has just really made a comeback for me and I couldn't believe it and I am loving the mixing world of it. So my little, my little Amazon Bottega dupe. Look at the, even look at the outfit I'm wearing right now. Like how much cuter would it look with silver? I've just realized that certain tones, certain things that I wear, certain outfits that I wear, the silver really makes a huge impact and can have such a brightening effect on your skin, especially when I'm letting my skin live in its paleness. So mixing jewelry, I love. Look at these adorable earrings from Heaven Mayhem. Little gold and silver action, stunning. Love, beautiful. These were a gorgeous gift, by the way. Thank you so much, Heaven Mayhem. We'll talk about you in a second. For me, silver is having a moment. I am loving mixing jewelry and I look forward to playing with this much more in my jewelry life. And speaking of the jewels, we're gonna dive right into number nine, which is the bold, chunky jewelry, which I am loving so much. Now, bold and chunky jewelry is not a new thing for me. I've always loved bedazzling my hands with lots of rings. I've always worn big, fun earrings. I've always loved a good, chunky necklace. I'm no stranger to this trend. But I think specifically right now, the bold jewelry is just having a big rise in the earrings specifically. And it's kind of mixed with this like vintage jewelry inspired trend and heaven mayhem speaking of has been a huge huge pusher of this trend and earlier last year i bought these lovely little rose earrings these were from heaven mayhem i bought them on revolve i wore them so much absolutely obsessed they just added this really like vintagey looking very feminine touch to a look and I love them so much. And then also I bought my little teardrop earrings on Amazon. And Dan actually said to me one day, he's like, babe, you've been wearing those a lot. And I was like, excuse you, how dare you? It's because I love them so much. I bought them in gold and silver, mixing the jewelry, you know? And I just was so inspired by these. I exclusively wore my very simple gold hoops for so long. And I felt like I had kind of lost my fun when it came to jewelry. Like every once in a while I'd play for sure, but just taking my casual everyday looks and then throwing on a big vintage inspired bold earring has just really <laughs> made such an impact on my outfits. I just feel so much more fabulous. Adding in all these beautiful bold pieces of jewelry has been so fun and I just so look forward to playing with them more. And that can also apply to the bracelets, which I've, I've really been into the bangles. And earlier last year, I bought this little trio set, again from Revolve. These have been so great, by the way. I wore these so much. They've been such a fabulous like statement piece of jewelry for me. They're so comfortable, they're easy, and they're not too orangey, they're not too brassy, which is nice. They're really comfortable. Then when I was looking on Amazon, it was actually the same order that I bought bought these little teardrop earrings. I found the exact same pair on Amazon, obviously for like $5 million less than what I paid for on Revolve and I got them in silver. So just in case you were wondering, the little set that I wear all the time, you can find a dupe on Amazon. And I thought what another fabulous way for me to mix my jewelry and wear gold and silver together. So these little bangles, these big chunky pieces of fun, whether it be on your wrist or in your ears or on your neck, I just, I'm here for the bold chunky jewelry. It is such an easy way to take your outfit to another level and I am loving it. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the mixing jewelry. I know that this has been around since the dawn of time, but it's something that I just really haven't dabbled in until now. And and I look forward to doing it more. So the final trend, number 10, that I wanna talk about is something from TikTok. And you know TikTok loves to name an aesthetic. It's like the clean girl aesthetic. It's, I don't know, it's all about the eras and the aesthetics. And lately I've been seeing a lot about the mob, the mob wife aesthetic. And I thought that was so funny. I have seen multiple TikToks talking about how clean girl is out, mob wife era is in. Clean girl aesthetic is out and mob wife glamour is in. And I think it's so funny, but it's kind of that idea of adding a little bit of bold glamour to your outfits, very much like the earrings and the jewelry. We've been seeing a lot of faux fur, a lot of the shearling making a comeback and just 
being a little bit extra fabulous. So I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts. Is there an aesthetic that you think is gonna take over in the new year? What are your thoughts on the clean girl versus the mob wife, mob wife chic? I think it's hilarious, honestly, and I get it. I think it's fun and I can definitely see that the trends are going more and more towards that. And maybe a few of these things that I'm picking up, I'm just naturally gravitating towards that more fabulous edge in my style as well. So I think it's fun and it's something that I'm gonna keep keep an eye on, keep the pulse on, and maybe be a little bit more adventurous and playful with our style in the new year. So I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on some of the fun trends that I have picked out in the beauty and fashion space. What, what trends are you into right now? What are you loving? What era are you going into for the new year? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for being here and for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon for a new one. Bye.